everyone, it's Emily from burlapkitchen.com where I'm all about simplicity. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make another pillow out of an old pair of jeans. The first thing I did was I took a roller and I just drew a straight line on the one end just to sort of even up the, the pant leg. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut straight across. It's a little bit difficult where the seams are unless you have really good scissors, and I don't, so I recommend if you have fabric scissors using them for this project. I then decided to cut the seam off the bottom just so it was easier to work with. They can be a little tough to cut through. Okay, once I got that, then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to take my Sharpie and my roller and draw a straight line just to even up that pant leg. And then I'm just going to cut straight across like I did on the other side. And this one was a little tricky. It gave me a little guff for some reason. I really need sharper scissors for these types of projects. There we go. Now that that's done, I'm just going to run a bead of glue along the bottom of the jean, and I'm just going to press it to make sure it's sealed nice and tight. And then I'm going to take the jeans and I'm just going to flip them inside out. Now this is the side that I wanted to show. I wanted the inside of the jean to show. If you want the other side of the jean to show, then you would do the same thing that I did, but do it reversed. This side came apart a little bit, so I just had to add a little bit more glue and hold it shut and it sealed it up perfectly. Now I'm going to take some polyfill, or uh, actually in this case I'm using some stuffing from an old pillow that I had, and I'm just going to begin to fill the pillow. Make sure to push down in the corners good so you get the stuffing evenly throughout the pillow. That looks pretty good to me. Now I'm just going to do a reverse cuff and fold up the edges nice and neat and then I'm just going to run my hot glue right across there and seal it up. You do want to try your best to make this look neat because you're going to probably see a little bit of it. So take your time on this. That looks pretty good to me. Now I just took a bead of glue and ran it across some of the seams that were sticking up just to glue them down. I didn't want them showing in the final project, so I decided to glue them down. Perfect. Now I'm taking another um, strand of that thick rope that I bought from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue it right around the edge of the pillow. And for the corners I kind of curved it around and like to the front a little bit as you can see. that I found that to be the easiest way to get the rope up over the corner of the pillow. My rope frayed a little bit at the end so I just braided it back up and then I just glued it to the pillow. It seems to be holding up pretty good. Once you get it glued down, just trim the end of the rope. Now that that's done, we're gonna cut out some felt stars. So to do this, I just took a piece of red felt and I folded it in half. And then I just drew a basic star onto the felt with my black Sharpie. I then went around with my Sharpie to kind of um, thicken up some of the star points that I got a little too either short or fat. Now I'm just going to cut the stars out. For this project I did, I wanted to have two red stars and one white. So that's why I'm doing it this way. 
Um, if you don't have felt look in your fabric bin, maybe you can find some cute fabric to use for this. I think those um, bandanas, like red and blue bandanas, or red and white, I mean bandanas, would look super cute for this. I'm just going to lay my red felt star onto the white and trace it so they all look the same. I could cut out two stars at a time, but I was having trouble cutting three out, so that's why I did it this way. So I'm just going to cut this white star out. And now I'm going to lay my stars onto my pillow the way that I want them to look and try my best to even them up. And then I just put a daub of glue in the center of each star. And then once I did that, I just went around and glued all the points down. And that's it guys, now you have a super cute patriotic pillow to decorate with. I hope you enjoyed this craft today. For more great ideas like this one, please visit burlapkitchen.com. Thank you. Bye.